Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this video I'm making because many of you have asked me to make a strategy video how to prepare for CS and all. So see I have already made video long back and that is already uploaded on the channel. Here's the link for that. Okay, so you can click on this link and you can watch that video. So why I'm making this video now again why I'm making this video. I'm just making this video uh, so that I can tell few things which I have missed in that particular video okay so there are certain points which I want to clear for you guys especially for those uh, who are preparing for CSI net since like one or two times and they are not able to succeed okay so see I'll start talk, talking with like we have three four kind of students which generally prepare for CSI net and since I, I have been teaching for CSI net since like one or two years it's it's around two years now that I have been teaching for a CSI net so like there are three four kind of students which I generally come across one are like the freshers who are giving this exam for the first time right second one are those uh, like who are like doing their job or who are in their profession and they want to clear CSI net just net they are not going for JRF they just want to clear net exam they just want to qualify that exam okay so they are second category of it Third kind of student are like who have given CSR net first time like just for just to check the level of exam and all uh, while they're like while they were in their masters and uh, they are still in their masters like they it is last semester of their, their masters and now they are in uh, like they are thinking that what to do next because last time they have given exam and last time they didn't perform well okay so now they are thinking that what to do next in CSR June which is coming close okay. And the last kind of students are who have given exam for two three times and yet they are not able to succeed so i'll talk about all of you guys i'll i'll give you a few tips just just the things they are not like i'm not someone who can like um, uh, who is uh, much into giving lectures and all i'm not giving you any kind of lecture it's just kind of uh, like an advice from me okay and uh, why i'm making because i don't want any of you guys to struggle i just want all of you to achieve your goals to be happy to be successful in life okay so I, I will just share few things and few tips which I generally follow and I ask my students also for, also to follow so for them who are giving this exam for first time okay so if you are giving this this exam for the first time if you don't have any idea of the exam how to prepare for that now okay so if you are fresher if you are giving this exam for the first time don't keep on solving questions now okay don't go with the strategy like like the others are doing they are just solving questions and preparing along with that don't do with that don't do like that that you can do if you have uh, like studied well in your masters if your masters like if you if your syllabus of your masters was very much similar to your csr net and you have prepared a lot of, lot of part uh, in your masters itself then you can go for that otherwise i will definitely suggest you to go read books and build up your concept that is very important for freshers to build up your concept okay it's it's very important okay if concept is not there like it will not help because if you will see previous year csi net exams especially this december 2018 and june 2018 they were not that much straightforward questions questions were very complicated kind of questions like the questions were very complicated kind uh, and uh, the one who is not aware of concept the, those people cannot solve the, those questions so easily so that's why i will suggest you that it is your beginning it's your you are going to start your preparation so start it wisely start it carefully and uh, start from like the basics okay start from the concepts this is for you guys okay so try to build up your concept then you go for questions then you go for shortcut tricks and all but first try to build your concept you read standard books standard books are very important why i'm telling you see there will like you always have seen like it, not you but most of you have must have seen that in csir or gate sometimes they give wrong questions in answer key if you want to challenge that question you you have to give a reference of standard book so if you have read a standard book then at least you can challenge that question if you will not read a standard book if you will read any of the book and uh, like if you read just notes you cannot challenge a particular question with that notes right I have got many uh, like queries from students where they are told where they tell me that this question is given like this in my notes but uh, gate has given answer like that so how can I challenge that so that's why I always tell you that notes are good you have to 
prepare your own notes but book reading is very important especially for freshers who are not like who didn't have prepared much about it right so do read books and build up your concepts so, so this is for all the freshers who are giving this exam for the first time so it might happen that uh, uh, you 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 cannot prepare for like with, with book reading you cannot prepare in two and a half months for upcoming exam right but this will be a future investment this will help you in the further csn okay this is only for those who are giving this exam for the first time go and give this exam uh, but read books okay read books and build up your concept whatever you have prepared whatever part of syllabus you cover till exam just go and solve questions related to that in exam okay so don't worry about finishing out the syllabus and uh, like mugging up things don't do like that build up your concept only those who are giving this exam for the first time okay now i, I will talk about those who have given csr december 2018 and who are now giving this exam for the second time okay and those who know that they have not performed well in csr december 2018 see in in few weeks you will get result of that and don't let that result affect your performance or your preparation of next exam okay just forget whatever happened in december 2018 whatever you have done in that it will go like that okay just don't remember about it make your fresh start whatever mistakes you have done you you yourself know that what are your weak points by giving that exam right in december 2018 you have given that exam and you you by yourself you know that what what mistakes you made which field you need to work on try to work on them okay and now uh, like boost up your pre uh, preparation boost up it boost up means what you have to do earlier if you were if you were studying like one or two hours just increase that speed okay increase that time be more efficient towards whatever you are studying try to change your uh, studying pattern try to change uh, your preparation strategy try to change the way you are you are grasping things you are understanding things let's say earlier you were reading books okay now read books watch videos make notes okay these three things is going to help you a lot a read book watch videos on youtube and make notes out of them if you will not make notes if you just simply watch a video and uh, like uh, move on to the next one that is not going to help you always i tell you if you watch my video or any any youtuber video whoever is teaching on youtube any video if you are watching related to csr for your preparation make notes with that video that is going to help you because in every video you are going to get some important tips okay might be not in mine might be in others videos but yeah you will get some important tips so write them down in your copy write them down in your notes okay so this is for them who are giving this exam for the second time who are like giving the exam for the next time okay now coming to those who are preparing again and again who are not able to solve like who are not able to qualify exam who are given this exam for three two two three times and then also they are not able to see always if you think about the past exam you will that will definitely affect the next one okay so don't think about the past exam even i was not able to qualify exam in first attempt so i will not say that this is so easy exam that you can qualify in one attempt i qualified in second attempt so like if it is taking more than two or three attempts for you to so, to qualify this particular exam then seriously seriously you need to change your preparation technique okay you need to change how you are preparing preparing for the exam let's say you are reading certain notes don't keep on reading the same notes okay you need to get some new notes you need to prepare some new notes you need to uh, change things whatever you have studied let's say you have prepared five chapters from organic and uh, like you are preparing organic and physical chemistry you are leaving out in organic chemistry for your preparation and you are not able to qualify for three times then seriously you need to include few more topics in your preparation because see you are already well prepared for exam you have already prepared much from organic you have prepared much from physical so you need you can give the rest of the time for inorganic right so you can increase the the topics which you are going to prepare for exam if there is something which you are not understanding you are not getting anything let's say you are a physical chemistry student and you are not getting anything from organic chemistry try to read books okay then then try to read books try to find out few things from where you can score marks from organic as well because see uh, at the end in the exam only that Three hours will matter. Okay, whatever you will do in that, those three hours, that will matter. It will not. Nobody will ask you that in which attempt you qualified or what what you did before qualifying the exam and all. Just those three hours will matter. 
so what you have to do now uh, those who have uh, like who are keep on giving exam and they are not you are not able to qualify what you have to do change your preparation strategy change your technique how you are preparing okay take out more topics in your preparation like in your uh, prepared topics okay take out few more topics from the from the one which you are leaving till now and you guys can solve a lot of question okay you guys can just focus on practicing questions from those topics which you have already done don't go into theory of that again just solve questions related to that and previous year's questions are well and enough to prepare for exam okay so try to do it and hopefully you will get into it this time okay if you think that your a part is weak then you can prepare for a part let's say see many times i used to get this from student that i am from a bio background and i am not able to solve questions from a part see a part questions every question is not for a mathematical mathematic background student okay not for math background student there are some questions from a part as well like uh, the one in which you have a reasoning kind of thing okay in which you have to give logical answers or the one in which you, you have images and you have to tell the next pattern the changing pattern and you have to tell the next pattern so these things you can do right so take out few things this th like this will give you some positive marks in your exam so try to analyze question paper try to analyze of your own that where you are lacking what are the things you can enhance and what it can help you in the next exam this thing will vary from student to student so that's why i cannot generally tell anything okay so that's why i'm telling you to self analyze that thing and this is very important because after giving this exam for 3 4 times uh, it's it will become very difficult to qualify after that okay because uh, like you will if something you are going to give keep on repeating and giving that exam again again a frustration level will increase and at then you will leave that preparation so don't let that happen to you change the things apply what i have whatever i have told and hopefully it will help now at the end i will talk about those students um like who are do, doing job who are or who are out of their studies till now might be some girls with uh, due to their marriage and all they are they are away from the studies for few years and now they want to qualify in it so for them also it it is not like that that you will start preparing for exam and you will qualify in in like see for them it is very like what i have seen that a person who is doing job okay and then he tries to give csir net and he is not able to qualify it it hurts okay it hurts more than that why because what that person it, it, the person's um, like confidence level is very high because he is already doing some job right and then he is not able to qualify exam so he feels very bad in himself that i am not able to qualify this this exam so don't let that happen to you understand the situation understand the thing that you are not in touch of uh, your studies since this much a long period so it will take some time for you to get back into th things okay so what you need to do how to prepare for that start from the things where you left okay like see you must know that what are your uh, what are your positive points and what are your negative points that where you are good at and where you lag behind okay so try to work on them try to revise your positive points and try to work on your uh, points where you like try to work on those things where you lag okay so combine both of them and then you can easily do it so uh and one more thing that don't leave your job for this exam okay you can take leave and all but i have i have uh, one or two students who have left their jobs so i feel bad for them because you should not do that okay so these were certain tips certain points certain advice from me because exam is very near and i just want you guys to prepare in a proper way in a proper manner in a proper uh, like your preparation should be very precise right i don't want your time to be wasted and yeah i'll be making videos on youtube and i'll try to complete a lot of topics which are left out although i have around 130 videos on youtube till now and they are complete like lot of questions and lot of uh, topics are already completed so you guys can watch them in future also i will come across like i will come back with more videos with more questions okay so all of them except those who are for, doing this exam giving this exam for the first time all of those whenever you study a certain topic try to solve questions related to it okay then it will be very helpful then it will benefit a lot so enough uh, for this video i think i hope i was able to make my point clear i i hope that these advices will help you and i hope you guys will like this video and if you are new to this channel please subscribe this channel 
and share this video with share this video with your friends and like this video if you like it and you can ask anything if you want to ask in the comment section although i'm not that much great to answer but yeah i will try to share my my experience whatever i know with you guys and try to help you in that so that's all from this video thank you guys thank you so much for watching bye, -bye.